Hello, this is AJ Kamikaze presenting you with another pen length comparison. Since the last comparison video, questions were brought up. Why are non Hatsune Miku Expo pen lights not allowed in her concerts? These include well established brands such as Lumica and King Blade. Would it be more simpler to bring a pen light that you already own? I will attempt to answer a few questions based on three different experiments I'll be performing. These include the areas of price, illumination, and Miko Expo compatibility. Illumination will be the biggest part of these experiments as they will document by appearance and measuring light intensity. Pen lights are also called light sticks and LED glow sticks, but to avoid further confusion, I'll be using the term pen light throughout this video, though I might use the other terms interchangeably. Also to not bore the non-science viewers, the majority of these experiments have been sped up. In the previous comparison video, I will once again be using both Hatsune Miku Expo models from 2016 and 2018. These in ways will serve as a benchmark for two other models. One is Lumica's Luminase 2 Omega and its rival, Wayfan Japan's Kingblade X105. So, let's get started. Both Miko Expo models were $35 from their online merch store. The Luminase 2 Omega was $25 from their US branch website. And the Kingblade X105 is retailed at $33, but I got it at eBay for $36. All the prices I mentioned does not include sales tax, discounts, and shipping. To get accurate test results, I installed fresh new batteries in each pen light. I'll be conducting visual observation from my point of view and from this video. In the last video, the older Miku Expo 2016 model is brighter than the 2018 model. Instead, I'll be paying attention more towards Lumica and King Blade. In the last comparison video, you take note that there is no white light on the 2016 model. The brightest on this uh, observation is Lumica, followed by King Blade. When observing green light, I made a mistake on both Lumica and King Blades as their shades isn't exactly to the Miko Expo models. Lumica has the, um, what you call emerald, and King Blade has light green. Hard to tell, but again, Lumica is the brightest by the slightest shade, followed by King Blade. I have no idea what happened. In person, I switched all pen lights to yellow. Yet the camera is viewing them as a green tint or even a white light, unless I cycle to the other colors. Could be sensors just recording in a dark room with high illumination in front of the lens. Lumina is again on the brighter side while King Blade is more on the duller side. Just to be sure, I have to cycle the King Blade to see if it's the only color. On the camera, orange appears to be pale, yet appears to be uh, like a real orange in person. Lumica pops out the most as a slightly light orange while King Blade is duller compared to a real orange. The specific pink for this is light pink to match Vocaloid Luca. I was actually confused as I'm cycling the pen lights in the dark and I didn't have the color charts with me at the time. I should mention that Lumica has five different shades of pink before reaching the secular pink. On camera, it appears as a shade of violet for some reason. Again, I'm more confused on how colors look close to each other in person, yet at the same time, the camera views the appearance differently. Here I changed the Lumica color to regular pink, which I'm pretty much gave up by then. Red in general looks more like uh, red with some shade of orange. Surprisingly, the King Blade gets the point for being the brightest, while the Lumica appeared to be washed out.
And finally blue, both in person and on camera. They all appear the same to me. But if I have to give an answer, I have to give this to Lumica. The next experiment involves in using a lux meter, a type of light meter that measures the amount of light at a certain distance. I am not going to attempt to explain the exact details and the science behind it, as I'm sure this would probably give you a bigger headache than Psyduck trying to understand complex philosophical animes. But just understand that different types of bulbs would give off similar or different light intensities and similar distances. Let's put it this way. A 100 watt light bulb would give you a higher reading than a 50 watt light bulb while both of them being one foot away from the light meter. In this experiment, the pen lights will be measured up close from top to bottom of the tube and recording the minimum to maximum range in each color for each pen light. Based on being up close, the range will be recorded at 10 times. This is version one. Five ninety two, five ninety one, five ninety five eighty eight, five eighty one, five seventy nine. And it's about center five seventy six it's over switching fifty six that's the lowest. Highest is 250, about two. <clears throat> two forty seven. Two forty six, two forty five. For this Miko Expo twenty sixteen model, it's no surprise that green will dominate the rest of the colors. Surprisingly, it's tied with blue, followed by yellow. The lowest range is red, with its thirty two to seventy two lux reading. In the Hatsune Miku Expo 2018 model, white has the largest range of 22 to 106 lux, followed by a tie with both yellow and blue at 21 through 98 lux. The lowest range reading is again red at 7 to 33 lux. Lumica and the King Blade would prove a challenge for me as I have to cycle the colors. It was actually hard to get a fairly uh, accurate reading as the numbers were fluctuating between the 500s and 600 lux ranges. I don't know if the device takes up a lot of battery power compared to the Miko Expo pen lights. Overall, the ranges for the Lumica are spread out further than the Miko Expo pen lights. Blue is the most dominant in the ranges at 28 to 676 lux, followed by light pink at 74 to 607 lux. 
Red shows the least amount of spread in ranges at 28 to 237 lux. King Blade is not as bad as Lumica when it comes to trying to get a reading, but instead of jumping around, the Lux readings were actually decreasing slowly before stabilizing on red. Like Lumica, blue is dominant and ranges from 130 to 542 Lux, while the least spread is orange at 54 to 150 Lux. Looking at the overall Lux chart I've set up, you can see that the Lumica's Luminase 2 Omega takes first place as the brightest pen light in the experiment, followed by Royfan Japan's Kingblade X10 5, the Miku Expo 2016, and the Miku 2018 model. The final experiment is based on the integrating sphere testings that measures light output at a certain distance. This is an experiment that is used to determine the lumens from flashlights. The sensor is placed at 1 meter or 1 foot away from the object to determine the light output. As for why I painted inside the box black, I did this to reduce any possible interference of light bouncing off. I also cover any possible openings from coming inside other than the pen light themselves. Because I'm using a Lux meter, the numbers can be calculated to determine lumens or foot candles. For this experiment, I'll be measuring in lux while the box is based on the dimensions of 1 cubic feet. If you really need to know the math, just know that 1 lux equals 1 lumen per square meter or 0.0929 square feet or 1 tenth of a square foot. Because the pen lines are at a distance, I can record the readings at 1 times. It's not turned on yet. As you can see, put duct tape there, hold the sensor. <clears throat> I can turn it on. It's currently reading zero. For the most sensitives, yeah, nothing. So I think we're good to go. This is version one, green. All right. I'm getting 23. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to stick to the regular one time Lux. <clears throat> so we're getting 23 at the moment. Oh, such an idiot. There we go. Looking at the final chart, we can see that once again, the Luminase 2 Omega is the most dominant in light intensity from 1 feet away, followed by the Kingblade X10 5, the Hatsune Miku 2016, and the Hatsune Miku 2018. So what can we learn from these simple experiments? Well, for one, the brightest pen light in this experiment is inexpensive. But with these experiments, however, it needs to be a name brand. However, I only tested just two models of two different brands and two special edition pen lights, so such conclusions remain up in the air for now. Secondly, non Miku pen lights are not compatible due to high illuminations, which is the most obvious conclusion. One of the main reasons in using only compliant pen lights is that name brands will reflect on the glass panel that would cause a negative audience viewing experience. Well, if you look at this chart, there is a possible loophole to it or an exploit. When compared to the Hatsune Miku 2016 model, 
the Kingblade X105 can theoretically get away with it in a Miko Expo concert as long as you uh, not use blue and possibly white. But this is more possible if used away from the glass projector like say halfway of the concert hall. But I would not recommend it unless you don't mind blinding your neighbors or getting kicked out. So why am I doing these experiments? Well, what I'm doing is technically part one. This is what part two is going to be based on. Well, I hope you learned something from this boring scientific video. This is AJ Kamikaze signing out.